Welcome to the Star of Brian. Gabriel, your story is kind of interesting. So you started out as a very, very young man in the technology space. When did you get your start? How did that take you through that? Well, I actually started when I was 12. Um, I was a quiz. My father has a computer and a keyboard. He said, never, ever touch this computer and this keyboard. So he became a programmer and musician. <laughs> musician? <laughs> so, yeah, I was a musician. Uh, I started to work in a multinational company. I was a programmer uh, that specialized in video and database that was a little bit funky at the time. <laughs> yeah. And I worked there until 20. When I was um, earning enough money, I created my own studio. And then I started to do some records. What kind of records were you? Uh, you, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> no, I really, like, what kind of like, music were you producing? It was, you were, it was uh, jazz music. Um, like, boots, 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 boots. <laughs> Some serious intense Euro house music. <laughs> I'm a part time DJ. Was, too. But, but I, uh, I, I, uh, luckily enough, I made a hit uh, in the radio and uh, I became the most played uh, record of that year in the 90s. So they started to push me into this musical career. I was also dancing and rapping and doing this kind of stuff. So I've done 21 records and 6 hits during my career. So you started off in content production, but that also... <laughs> but that content production, production career wasn't just about music, right? You started yeah. into television, right? Yeah. My vision was immediately that uh, you know, this computer thing and this music thing was in my head, you know, converging in some, somehow. So I started to think about how the media will, will be changing in the future. So I started to work out a, a project that had uh, my, my own passion in it. Uh, and I started Aiche. It was uh, uh, at the beginning a, a sort of, it seems very, very not cool now because it was internet on TV, so it was, <laughs> it was something, um, and vice versa, so it was, uh, the, the development was just starting, because I live in a, in a very strange country, uh, Italy, I don't know if you're familiar with that, <laughs> it's, it's a strange country because we have uh, 62 million people and 98 million mobile phones, we have the Korea of Europe, okay, <laughs> so, uh, as, as, in this market, you, you see a lot of new technologies uh, tested before uh, all the markets. Um, and, and then when, when the, the technology, uh, let's say, works, they just take it and bring it in the real market, like in America or <laughs> on the other market. So I was lucky enough to start my projects in an environment like this, where everyone is, is basically inventing new stuff. Or, for fashion technology, because we are really mad about this kind of thing. And that's that's how I started. Was that the environment that led you to create Bebop? That's, that was, it was funny enough, because uh, Bebop is actually my, my nickname. So I was, <laughs> my artistic name was Bebop, and then when I created the company, it was just naturally called, as I was called. So it's not me anymore, it's, it's the company now. 